all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line Working too hard can sometimes be detrimental to your mental But you won't see until your mind shut down Then you glitching like you got it, itch you just can't scratch Just a know-it-all, know-it-all until he get hard fact Why should I worry about things I have no power to change? Truth accepted and collected, I ain't going insane Anxiety is real, and it starts with control Why should I gain the world if it costs my soul? Whoa. Working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line it's easy to lose when you don't know why you lost and if you don't make a plan then you won't know why you lost it's a whole lot of sheep that love the title of boss i let my stress go because that makes it easy to fall i have been made free i took myself out that prison so let me give you the key while i rest on my mission it's the hardest command given for us to follow you can have all the money but you can still be hollow working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line it's hard for you to rest when you know that you broke and it's hard to sit still when they give you false hope take a lesson from the lion they sit calm and patient lying and wait for their prayer plan to eat for the day timing is everything don't give alert to the weak stay on the move but you still need rest from the week it's a time and a place don't make time for the fake need time for your love then just let the fake hate working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest it takes some time to get it all in line working all week at the end looking for a check but it ain't enough i can't even break a sweat i still need to rest unwind get some peace of mind get it off my chest take some time to get it all in line yeah 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 making this video exposing the democrat party for being fake friends fake allies to black america they only come around when they need something from you they talk about you behind your back also they talk about you to your face because they don't respect your intelligence they pretend to be cool with you only to backdoor and steal all your money tie you up pistol whip you set you up for your enemies they never assist you after all you do for them, they never do anything for you. They never help you. They never advocate for you. They use you as stepping stones to fulfill their agenda. The black American people have no friends in this world. I'm gonna talk about the parable and the prophecies a little bit later in this video, but Everybody see black American people as suckers and fools. Also, they see us as the, the rich kid that they can exploit. They see the communities that we have, the wealth, the resources, the struggle, the rights, and we share it with them. And they pretend to be cool with us until they actually get what they want. 
you know, the Africans, they want uh, our communities, citizenship, our rights. They want to go to our schools, get our education. The Mexican Latinos, they want to take our communities. It's like every time we become friends with these people, they end up taking everything we have and we end up living on the streets. Suckers and the leadership class of black America are not street smart. So they are, they make these deals, these back alley deals with these allies, white women. We shared our civil rights with white women, Latinos, Asians, Pacific Islanders, East Indians. All of these people now is bragging about how well they are doing. But before we allowed them to be friends and sharing our resources, they live in it piles of garbage in their countries so they see us as suckers the democrat party as a whole could not get elected since jimmy carter they could not get elected as president until they came and pandered to the black people vote the first democrat president that got elected since jimmy carter was bill clinton bill clinton pardon uh pandered to the black vote. He played the saxophone. He went to Arsenio Hall show and that got him elected. The same year he got elected or the same year he got inaugurated, he signed a 94 crime bill that invested a hundred, that invested $10 billion into prisons to incarcerate black people who just voted for him. The next Democrat president that got elected was Barack Obama. He pandered to the black people. We're going to do change. We're going to do this. We're going to, we're going to, yes, we can vote or die. Soon as he get in, he forgot about the black people. He focused on DACA, illegal aliens, uh, universal health care. He put a lot of the black insurance companies in Chicago out of business. He focused on waging international wars. He, he uh, conquered Libya with his Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, and Libya imposed African slave trade. They started selling African people on auction blocks. He didn't oppose Merit Mauritania for their slavery. So the world got a lot worse under the Democrat wars under Barack Obama. And you got to look at history, how the reason they won't, they, the, the people would not elect a Democrat president because we were still traumatized by Vietnam and the turbulent 1960s, how hard it was for the Democrat presidents to sign a civil rights act. The whole country had to burn down just for them to do that. You got to look at how after the American uh, Civil War, the Democrat Party wanted to reinstitute slavery. They wanted to uh, reinstitute and pardon all the Confederate uh, soldiers, generals, the traitors. They uh, opposed the Civil Rights Act of 1866. They opposed the Reconstruction Act, the Freedmen's Bill, the 14th Amendment. They totally was against black people. And then they allowed, like Andrew Johnson allowed black codes to be instituted in the uh, slave states, the former rebel states, and also all over the country. And then they allowed the Jim Crow laws, which basically made the Civil Rights Act of 1866 and the uh, 14th Amendment to no effect. So 100 years later, he was back at square one, marching for civil rights after we already had a Civil Rights Act of 1866 and marching to end desegregation Jim Crow, which was instituted less than 100 years earlier, undoing the damage that was done by these fake friends called the Democrats. And Joe Biden, when he gets in, he did nothing for black America. The people he said were not black if they did not vote for him. He did not want policy to benefit black people. He signed an Asian anti-hate crime bill that benefited Asian Americans, East Indians, Chinese, Pacific Islanders, they did not share that with us, even though we share all of our rights and resources to this day with them. The Hispanic community under Joe Biden 
was talking about stripping the black Americans in Chicago of their wards. Saying we don't have a population, even though the Democrat Party has been encouraging our women to abort our babies. And this brings me to the genocides of the Democrats and the wars. Andrew Jackson, President Andrew Jackson signed the Indian Removal Act that was basically um, genocide against the American Indians, the forced removal by militias and the army all over the United States to force the people off their land, put them on reservations, killed them and enslaved them. This was signed by that, that, that particular president, Andrew Jackson. The, the genocide of the Ukrainians in 1930 under President Franklin Roosevelt happened. He allowed Nazi Germany and also he allowed Russia to strengthen their defenses, strengthen their power that made it conducive for them to have World War II. Just like how Joe Biden is allowing China and Russia now to regroup, strengthen their power to make it easy and conducive for World War III. The Palestinian genocide that's happening right now. The genocide that happened in Germany. The uh, burning, the red summers in America when our cities got, the black people's cities got burnt down, killed by the thousands, no retribution. The black people in America have never had a resolution from slavery. We tried to have a resolution, but that was undermined by your allies, the Democrats. We have never fulfilled our fullest potential and our creations are taken from us by these same affluent white liberals. They took jazz music from us and gave us hip hop, rap, gangster rap music. They got our jazz music, our creation in a symphony orchestra downtown. Yet that's our creation that was appropriated. Yet they did nothing to help our communities grow. These universities all over the United States are not outreaching to the black people who create most of the technology and inventions in this country. They just look at what you create, take what you create and use it for themselves and give you nothing. And then every four years we complain and whining because nothing has been done by the previous administration, even though we're going to vote for that previous administration, the Democrats, even though they do nothing for you. The biggest backstabber is in a book called Othello, the fake friend Yago was Othello's best friend. Yeah, he hated Othello because Othello was a general of the army. And he was actually, he, he, he promoted a person outside of Yago. And Yago wanted to destroy Othello's life. Yeah, he smiled in his face the whole book. He turned Othello against his own wife. By the time Othello realized Yago was the serpent, the, the snake, his life was already destroyed. It was too late. Just like us. It's going to be too late when we realize that these Democrats are really looking for our genocide. Black women was convinced to kill 40 million babies. That's more killing than Genghis Khan. Cecil Rhodes, King Leopold of the Congo, Hitler, the Pope. 50 million babies that could have been born. Our population could have been 100 million people, 200 million people. We could have been able to expand to other countries, to other regions of the country if our population was grow was allowed to grow, but we was convinced to destroy ourselves because of the policies perpetuated telling you it's your right. And I'm going to get into this next topic about the book of Revelations prophesied that there was a whore, a great whore who fornicated with all the nations who was riding the back of the dragon. And there was another woman, a great 
wonder, clothed with the stars of heaven, with a crown with ten, ten stars on a crown. This woman was finna give birth. She was pregnant. The whore on the dragon was chasing this woman down to kill the baby. The same policy of the Democrats. The same policy of Pharaoh. The same policy of Jezebel in the book of 2 Kings when Jezebel wanted to kill Elijah. She was a Canaanite Phoenician who worshipped Baal, Molech. The Bible talked about how the Israelites sacrificed their children to the demon Molech, the Canaanite Carthaginian demon, Phoenician demon. These people believe in human sacrifice. The black Greeks believe in modern Minerva, a Canaanite Phoenician goddess. They worship the Canaanite religion of sacrifice. The same religion that was practiced in the Aztecs, the same religions practiced right now. The same, the same Canaan that's happening in Israel right now, the Jewish people are sacrificing the Palestinians. And in the story in the a, in a book of Revelation, that, that whore represents a nation. Because the woman in the, in the scriptures, all, the, the woman always represents a nation. A country. We have the Statue of Liberty represents the United States or the former free black people. And then you had the whore who fornicated with all the nations. And then you had the woman who was clothed with the stars. In the book of Genesis, Joseph had a dream. Joseph was one of the uh, sons of Jacob. That the stars, the moon, and, the, and the, the sun, moon, and stars was going to bow to him. And Jacob knew that represented his the, the tribes, the 12 tribes. So the stars represent us. We are the stars. That's why we have in our uh, flag the uh, 50 stars and a blue background. The blue background, the dark blue background represents outer space, the heavens. And we are the stars. And the woman was clothed with the stars. Her symbol was us. That means that's our nation. And our nation was about to become born again. And in the uh, book of Enoch, God told Enoch that earthly people, mortal man was given immortality through reproduction. The angels was given immortality in and of themselves so they don't have to reproduce to be immortal the 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 whore that was riding the dragon when they when she they wanted to kill that baby that meant they wanted to kill our future they wanted us to to go extinct that's why kamala harris kamala harris i say hera the, the witch of, of the roman uh, religion hera not the greek religion hera the wife of uh, Zeus, this witch, her biggest agenda is abortion. And they promote this abortion to impoverished, uh, poor black women. Kamala Harris come from an affluent family. She don't know what it's like to be poor, yet she don't have any children. She probably had so many abortions. She's probably sterilized, or she's probably a dude. But I'm saying her biggest agenda is the agenda of Jezebel, the Canaanite Phoenician who worshipped Baal, who had her prophets of Baal, the prophets of Baal today, Roland Martin, Charlemagne, D.L. Hoogley going against Elijah. And they had a showdown. Elijah proved that Baal was a false deity, a false god that had no power. And when they saw that Baal had no power, Jezebel fled to her castle. And when she fled to her castle, she fell. And when she fell, she was eaten by her, her own dogs. This shows you that Jezebel will fall and she will be destroyed by her own dogs. The dogs of Jezebel, the dogs of uh, Kamala Harris, 
is her past bragging about being an East Indian, bragging about locking up all these black men, bragging about throwing these black women in prison, abortions, Montel Williams, Willie Brown. Her dogs will be her downfall. And then the the uh the the woman that's on the dragon represents a nation. A nation who was similar to the woman that was clothed with the stars, but not quite. That represents all of these these uh, foreigners that come here to fornicate, who, who fornicates with the white supremacists, who 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 are in, in line in league with them against us, and they want to destroy our future because they want to replace us. And the the woman that was uh, about to give birth, they don't know who the father is. The father is God himself who is going to make sure our future will, will be because we don't have any allies on this planet. Everybody on this planet is they want, uh, they want to capitalize off of our ingenuity and creations that come from heaven, our skills, our abilities, and they want to kill us and take over. They become our friends by smiling on our face. That's when they when a person get backdoored. The people that's gonna backdoor him is gonna pretend to be friends with him just to learn his secrets, learn where the money stashed, learn where everything is. And then once they finna come for the kill, they're gonna kick in that back door, tie him up, kill him. He thought they was his friends, but they really was jealous of him the whole time. And that's what these foreigners do. They came to our, our uh, country saying they minorities. We allowed them to be minorities. We allowed them to share in our resources and our rights because we thought we was all the same because we looked similar. But they was really working with the dragon. The dragon represents the world order. The world order ran by white supremacy with seven uh, heads and six and, and uh, seven heads represents the seven continents ruled by 11 kings, 11 horns, and the dragon is working with them. I mean, the whore is working with them. The whore is the one who was really oppressed under colonialism, yet they made a deal with the uh, world elites, the world governments against us. So the whole that, that represents the whole entire world, the dragon and the whore. And they all are against us, chasing us down to destroy our future. And Jezebel represents that whore because Jezebel returned for revenge. Remember Jezebel's dogs? That's what Jesus say. Jezebel's dogs is going to be their downfall because their dogs, like when, when Malcolm X say, the roosters come are back to roost, come home to roost. That means whatever you put out is going to come back to you. Karma. And you know these East Indians believe in karma. But yeah, the Democrats are fake friends. They pretend to be cool with us to get what they want. And what they want is our vote because they know that the black people in America are, are spread out all over the country. We are naturally born here. We are not implants. We are not isolated to just one area. We are a naturally grown people with extreme the genetic diversity. When we re, when we reproduce, our genetics doesn't diminish or deviate. There's no standard deviation because we have a, a immense genetic diversity. When these other people are implanted here, they don't have the uh, gen, the genetic diversity to really grow like we have. So eventually they're going to they're 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 going to hit a wall, and then their population will diminish, and they will be forced to mix with other cultures, other ethnicities, just to get the biodiversity. But we don't have that problem because this is our original homeland. We're not implanted, and we are everywhere in this country, and our votes can affect every part of this country, not just certain regions. The East Coast, West Coast, North, South. Our votes can impact every election in this country. 
You know, they use us because they know this. They don't know the power that we have. And they, they don't they know we don't know the power that we have as far as our population and our biodiversity. That's what they're still in our organs. They sort of use the Henry Alalax, the immortal genes to help themselves to reproduce their fertility problems. They're all implants. It's like when you get a, a organ implanted in your body, you're going to have to take anti-rejection drugs your whole life because your body is constantly trying to reject this foreign, uh, this foreign substance in your body. It sees the organ as a foreign invader. Just like all the this, this country sees all of these foreigners as invaders. They're not really naturally here. They're not naturally grown here. They're implants. So they use our genetic materials to prolong their existence. But it's only going to last for so long until it's going to be nothing left. And then they're going to look towards breeding with the black people. Black women, the original black women, just to save their their culture, their race, because they have to uh, breed with the people that's indigenous to that land in order for them to survive. But yet they still are trying to kill us off because they say, OK, they can get an African or a person from Jamaica, East Indian who has brown. It's really not about the skin, the brown skin It's about you being original from that land. And you don't have enough people of your race in this country to actually expand without going into oblivion, without your genetics uh, being withered and diluted. Because each generation you reproduce, your genetics are cut in half, cut in half. You lose half of your genetic uh, material with each generation until there is no material left and you're just going to be a clones of each other. And then they won't be able to reproduce because the lack of biodiversity. And that's the, the secret to why most of this, most of this hatred is going because the only people that can live in this country without being destroyed for the, uh, for the foreseeable future are the indigenous people. That's for every country in the world. The implants eventually uh, blend in with the original people. And they, their, their genetic uh, or their historical makeup is dissipated totally. Five, six, seven hundred years, they'll cease to exist because this is not their original land and they don't have enough people. They didn't really bring their whole entire countries here to, to be able to expand. Even though in the, uh, I, I listened to this lady, Lady Boulay, earlier. She say the Irish sent 5 million people to the United States in the 1800s. That 5 million people, they wanted to expand all over this country because they need that many people to have the biodiversity enough to be able to expand without diminishing and diluting and deviating to oblivion. But yeah, we must recognize the enemies, the Democrats are fake friends. They use us because they see that the, the things that our people have accomplished, the land, the wealth, the resources, the, the ingenuity, the technology, the culture, and they smile until they actually are able to acquire what you have. That's called co coveting. You are covetous, avarice. Envy and avarice. That's what that is. And Satan told Noah, there's uh, five reasons man fall, but he'll share with him three. And God told Noah, tell Satan there's no need for that three. Tell him the two that he don't want to tell you. Tell him to tell you the two. He say man fell because of envy and avarice. He say envy became an accursed shaitan and was cast out. And because of avarice, he got what he needed out of Adam. Avarice is the unsatiable desire to gain something that you can't gain. You will destroy yourself trying to gain this thing. But yeah, the Democrats are the enemy. They're fake friends. They have been committing genocide against black people. 
They have been waging wars all over the world. People are exhausted by their wars. They're dropping their, their weapons. The Clintons, the Bidens, the Obamas. Biden has two genocides going on right now that we know of. We have uh, been fighting for equality and the Democrat Party has been standing in the way of equality. They're giving the resources, the tax, the money that we have been paying in this country. They're giving it to foreign countries and giving it to illegal aliens and migrants while we're actually falling further and further. And our, our women are being more and more desperate because they, they don't see a future outside of being single and childless because they figure they can't afford a child. So they are getting abortions because of that, because America make us believe we, there's no money yet. They're giving $20,000 to migrants. But yeah, that's about it. Black journalists have failed the black community. Black journalists failed to hold Democrats accountable for their lies and their neglect and their pandering to the black vote, which there is nothing being gained. Black leadership selling us out. Meritorious manumission, a slave policy in which they get trinkets and rewards for selling their people out. All the black journalists care about is their own jobs and their own money. They witnessed one of their colleagues, Roland Martin, get hogtied, brutalized and lynched, tossed out the window. And because the Democrats lost, they threw Roland Martin out the window. He was fired from MSNBC. Then he was tossed out the window of the, uh, TV One, all of the black journalists who want this ma meritorious manumission, these trinkets and rewards from their masters, they are selling their peoples out and they're staying in line until yesterday when the uh, Na National Association of Black Journalists invited and uh, hosted President Trump in Chicago to their so called chagrin. But Coon Johnson, Mary Johnson, got on stage to castigate uh, Donald Trump, to denigrate Donald Trump, also to denigrate the National Association of Black Journalists. But these same black journalists failed to hold Coon Johnson accountable. He ran on a platform that he was going to help the black teenagers of Chicago. He was going to stop crying. He was going to help investments. All Coon Johnson did was acquiesce to the demands of Senator Durbin, uh, Governor Pritzker, Joe Biden. The black journalist seems to be partial towards the agenda of the Democrats to the detriment of the black people who vote. They did not hold Bill Clinton accountable for his failures, his 94 crime bill. Let me read a, a portion of this 94 crime bill. Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act a.k.a. the 94 crime bill, a.k.a. Clinton crime bill. Really, it was Jim Crow Joe's crime bill. What does it say? Let me read this. Uh, dealing with crime and law enforcement, it became law in 1994. It is the largest crime bill in the history of the United States, even worse than slavery. I'm just saying that and consisted of 356 pages that provided for 100,000 new prison pr police officers, 9.7 billion in funding for prisons, which were designed with significant input from experienced police officers. Do you see what I'm saying? They put $9.7 billion for prisons in 1994. 
So imagine how much money that is in today's terms. That's probably over $100 billion that Joe Biden and Bill Clinton put towards prisoning black people. Look at what Senator Durbin and Tammy Duckworth is doing. Duckworth Durbin called for additional federal support to help cities like Chicago address migrant crisis. Washington, D.C. This is from DuckworthSenate.gov. This is a, a government website. So U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth, Democrat, Illinois, and U.S. Senator Senate Majority Whip Durbin, Democrat, Illinois, today urged the bipartisan leadership of the Senate Appropriations Committee to provide significant additional federal support to interior cities, including the city of Chicago, to help these cities more effectively address the ongoing crisis, migrants. In today's letter, the senators expressed strong support for fulfilling the urgent request of interior cities to invest at least $5 billion in the Federal Emergency Management Agency Shelter and Services Program to ensure these communities are able to continue receiving, processing, and caring for arriving families, particularly vulnerable children, in a safe and humane manner. It says, I quote, We write to express strong support for fulfilling the request of interior city mayors, including the dishonorable Coon Mayor Brandon Johnson, of Chicago to appropriate $5 billion for Federal Emergency Management Agency's FEMA Shelter and Services Program. The senators wrote, though this request is $3.6 billion above President Biden's National Security Supplemental requested amount of $1.4 billion, the amounts are necessary to address the scope of the challenges that interior cities such as Chicago, Boston, New York, Denver are facing. The senators continued, these cities are investing significant local, are wasting, allegedly wasting, they talking about investing, and wasting significant local resources to care for migrants in a safe and humane minor, manner despite the unacceptable lack of communication and coordination by politicians like Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who is seeking to cynically use vulnerable migrants, including families and children, as partisan pawns to uh, demonize asylum seekers and sow chaos. The Coon, Mayor Johnson, is asking for $5 billion. The Coon, the, the sellout, the one who said he was going to bring money to help the black teenagers and to stop black on black crime. All he asked the Congress to do is bring more money for migrants. I don't see the black people concerns anywhere in this letter. U.S. Senator Durbin, Duckworth, Coon, Mayor Johnson, and the rest of the Coons, the Democrats, who the black people voted for, is not sending legislation to Congress to help black people with housing, high prices, inflation, investment in businesses, invested in infrastructure, nothing. And the black journalist should be the one talking about this. But instead, the black journalist is talking about uh, DEIA, DEA, DEI hires, which is irrelevant. We got more black women in positions of power and jobs than black men. You know, black women got most of the money, most of the education, yet we live in extreme poverty, abject poverty under black women. So what good is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. The Democrat Party has engineered a genocide against black Americans. They did this in various nefarious, wicked ways. They decrease of the birth rate increase of the death rate, mass immigration, mass killing, mass incarceration. 
economic devastation. Lack of opportunities, destruction of businesses, destruction of infrastructure, integration. Integration has caused the black people to destroy their own infrastructure, their own businesses, the hopes that they will be able to go into the white businesses. Segregation. Today, after integration, we're in a segregation in which the black people have no power. Prior to integration, segregation meant separate but equal. Now we have no equal quality, no e economic uh, prosperity, no business developments really, on a level not on the levels that we had after slavery, Reconstruction. So we're in a lot worse position economically since integration and the Democrats gave us integration. Mass incarceration. Black women has aborted 50 million, an estimated 50 million babies. This puts them on the level of a Joseph Stalin, an Adolf Hitler, Genghis Khan, Pharaoh, the Pope, as far as the genocide that the Pope imposed on the Americas. Basically, he, he sent the Spaniards here to kill off all of the Americans. Pope uh, Alexander sent a, a, a papal bull to enslave or kill everybody in the Western Hemisphere or convert them to Christianity. Black women is on the level of that mass murder, that devastation. And then when they incarcerate the black males of military age, that prevents them from reproducing. Therefore, we will have less children, a lesser population, which is partially contributing to the genocide. The G Democrat Party, if you think about the wars, World War I, World War II, the mass genocides of the 20th century, all of them were under the Democrats. Right now, we have a genocide going on in Palestine, Israel. Joe Biden is allowing the Israeli government to exterminate, murder thousands, hundreds of thousands of women and children in Palestine. Bill Clinton, the war in Yugoslavia between the Albanians and the Serbs under Bill Clinton, they allow Slobodan Milosevic to enact a genocide against the, the Albanians, the ethnic Albanians under Bill Clinton, Clinton. Vietnam under uh, President Kennedy, John F. Kennedy, Lyndon Johnson, the Vietnam War, Cambodian War, the Korean Wars under the Democrats. But how did the Democrats impose this genocide against the black men, the black women? It happened. It was planned by J. Edgar Hoover when he talked about COINTELPRO to prevention of the rise of a black messiah. In the book of Revelations, they say the the the, uh, the whore is on the back of the dragon, and they chasing down a woman that's finna give birth, and they want to eat the baby. As soon as the baby is born, this sounds like Kamala Harris, the whore on the back of the beast. But they don't want the black children to be born because that black child can be a, a messiah born, given to us from heaven. So they want to exterminate all of us, just like in the book of Genesis, no, the book of Exodus, where Pharaoh imposed an abortion law, ordered all the women, all the Israelite women, to kill their male babies to prevent the Moses from being born. But these policies enacted by the Democrat party, the immigration policy, the crime bill policy in which Joe Biden invested $10 billion into the prisons to get the black men off of the streets to replace us with migrants and immigrants from Europe, Africa, the Middle East, South America, Asia, Australia, everywhere to replace the Negro men. 
ten billion dollars in 1992 invested in this crime bill. In 1990, Bill uh, George Bush Senior, George Herbert Walker Bush signed the Immigration Reform Act, which allowed for a million migrants to enter the United States legally per year, which in 34 years, that's 34 million people equivalent to the black population. So the plan was to to replace blacks with immigrants. And a plan started in 1965, Immigration Reform Act. And they started letting them in gradually, slowly. But in 1990, they increased it by 1 million per year. Yet they wanted a million blacks to be killed per year. They wanted the black women to get a million abortions per year. If the black women get a million abortions per year, that's going to make room for the the, uh, children of the the migrants and the immigrants. And they got birth terrorism happened since late uh, after the Civil War when the 14th Amendment was passed, in which when you give birth to a baby, that baby is a U.S. citizen. And since 1990, the Immigration Reform Act, that baby's parents who are illegal or from another country can bring their family in to become citizens, to take resources away from the black people. But the black people are still alive due to all of these, due to the fact, despite the fact of this uh, genocide, engineered genocide against us, we still exist. So now they're bringing in military age migrants. They're going to give them weapons and they're going to tell them to go house to house. It's like they did in the uh, trail of death that happened in Chicago, all over the United States when they deputized militias and told them to go and remove all of the black Indians from their, their cities, their civilization and send them and, and march them to the South or kill them. This is going to happen again. This is their plan. Just like in the uh, purge too. The second purge, they say the first purge wasn't killing fast enough. So the government took over the killing. They had machines on top of uh, trucks to go do the killing. But the killing does not happen fast enough. You know, so they want to figure out a better way to do this genocide. And every time a Democrat get elected, Barack Obama, Joe, uh, Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, Jimmy Carter, they always devastate the black people and they economically devastate the black people. We get no opportunities. In the seventies, they gave the black women uh, housing, single black women housing. I call it temporary holding uh, sales. These are like reservations to hold the black women and children why they exterminate and kill off the black men, impoverish the black men. Then they come in with the uh, the culture, the culture appropriation. When they influence the music and the movies, the black exploitation, rap music, gangster rap music, New Jack City, the movies to to encourage the the culture of drug dealing, pimping, drinking, doing drugs. And then this culture was perpetuated, spread amongst the black men. And the black men chose to be a pimp, a drug dealer, a gangster, as opposed to getting a college degree, college education, getting into politics and business, international trade. We want to be cool. And then they give these women who have these uh, holding cells, who don't have to pay any rent, they desire the criminal gangster, the thug. So the thug who is actually getting desired by the women are being desired to their own detriment because there is no future in being a criminal thug gangster. All you're going to do is get murdered and thrown in prison. And when uh, Kamala Harris was on stage promoting Meg Thee Stallion and Quavo, that lets you know those ideas 
that's perpetuated in a black culture, hip hop music, black exploitation is directly connected to the politicians and the prison industry. The prison industry depend upon employees because in the prison industry in America, prisoners get paid between $15 and $45 per month. And the people who's doing life have no power in negotiating a higher pay. They're stuck making $15 a month for the rest of their life. Working a full-time job. So that pr the prison industry depends upon making a, a culture and environment conducive to people committing petty crimes and major crimes, desiring money, and they don't make it easily to get this money by cutting us out of like the uh, business industries, the trades, construction industries, manufacturing industries. All they left for us is the drug industry. Drug selling dope, selling weed, distributing drugs indirectly by the, for the CIA. And then when you get involved in this drug industry, you're going to have territory wars, people snitching, people stealing from each other. There's going to be more killing, more, more killing, more lock. The people going to kill each other, then they're going to get locked up. Then the black men population is diminished. But if we have regular jobs, working in uh, factories, restaurants, into uh, technology, being teachers, scientists, doctors, then you will have less chance to be in drug wars over territory and, and getting snitched on and told on. But yeah, this is all part of the engineering to, to commit the genocide against the black men and the black people. Because when the black woman gets impregnated by a white man, that child is considered white. A Mexican child comes out of the black woman can produce children for any race. The men is the one who carry the seed. They don't want the black men to reproduce. And then they want our seed to be exterminated from the uh, gene pool. And they use economics. They decrease our birth rate, increase our death rate, mass immigration, mass killing, economic devastation, lack of opportunities, destruction of businesses, destruction of our infrastructure, integration, segregation, mass incarceration. Black women aborted 50 million babies. They are up there with Hitler, Stalin, Genghis Khan, the Pope of Rome. the Armenian genocide and the Palestinian genocide and the Ukrainian genocide of 1930s under Stalin all happened under Democrat leadership. And now the black genocide is perpetuated by our Democrat government. And they want you to vote for your own genocide. Roland Martin, give me a reason why I shall vote for a Democrat. Tell me a policy that the Democrat Party has passed to help black people. You talk about the HBCUs. The HBCUs was financed by Trump. It wasn't financed by Obama. Now you talk about what, what, what Biden gave to the HBCUs. That policy was already put in place. Biden actually reduced the amount of money that was supposed to go to HBCUs. He didn't, he didn't give them the whole money that Trump approved. Talk about uh, insulin prices. That policy was also introduced by Trump. It just came into effect in the next administration. But if insulin prices don't help me, what could what have the Democrat Party, Clinton, Biden, Obama, Jimmy Carter, or this witch Kamala Harris, this witch, this Jezebel, what have they done? to increase our population, to improve our communities, our condition, to empower black men and women and children. Tell me what they have done and what are they going to do other than just get power and be black? Yeah, that's about it.
stock in the up in the infirmaries. Dead on the block, institutionalized mischief, scrutinized misfits, perpetual ignorance makes me sick. I'm not a valued member of my race. They only value them niggas who's living a disgrace. Not brothers with degrees with high expected dreams. Standing on their creed, providing for their needs. They honor niggas with disease who strive for Mickey D's. Who threw away their life chasing government cheese. In the 80s and 90s, they used to have behind the gang cheese. But God destroyed the gang cheese with wickedness indeed. Now instead of on their two feet, they living on their knees. Not a weapon you could conjure but prosper against me. It's easy to move on two dudes when you walking around 10 deep. All for one, one for all, but God don't honor the cowards. Devour all your power. This land will be ours. Knock down the towers, the beast losing his powers Talks down the flowers, this world soon will be ours Artificial insemination injected into your minds Chase behind, not the king's dreams that got left behind Now we on these suicidal missions, they send those depositions All that's left is still drugs, killing brothers, filling their prisons Lost in another dimension, call it eternal detention Sit back and listen to this exposition Intervention inside of controlling the women and children They think it's independence, slut tactics and rap music Influence and distribution, if you never understood Why well, you never seen no good this is the hood controlled by Hollywood and the planet of the apes. There's no real escape. This is our fate, but it's never too late. Superfly, Foxy Brown, Minister to Society, Nino Brown. Tony Montana said, No cloud now. Set it off and you did those crimes. Do your time, looks back and wham. Lost our man and we dipped them in blind. Man, listen. We had too much rope and sold too much dope. Fail for the okie doke, now we stuck in this choke hole. They hustling our votes, the presidents to the post, the people and the folks, the beast got them in a scope. The society spreading fear, we stuck in this atmosphere. The people won't care about nothing if they're not aware.